Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go through some of my favourite Dublin spots at the moment. This is a constantly evolving and changing list, like all the lists that I tend to make for you guys, but this one especially, I feel like Dublin is so interesting at the moment, especially when it comes to like restaurants and different cafes and stuff, because there's always new things popping up. So it's a really interesting time to like be enjoying, like be a foodie in Dublin basically. But I also wanted to share some of like my spaces that I like going to in Dublin, some of the shops I like going to, because I think we get so many fab visitors to Ireland every single year and Dublin gets a huge proportion of those people. So I feel like it's good for you guys who might be coming to visit Ireland or Dublin soon to give you some ideas of like, you know, less touristy places to go in some respects. But also if you live in Dublin yourself or are moving to Dublin, you know, just to give you some more inspiration on places to go and things to do and all that kind of stuff because yeah, there's a lot to do and there's a lot to love. So I'm gonna get right into it and go through some of my favorite things that I've been doing recently, favorite places I've been going to, and I'm gonna start with one of my favorites. My mom has got me hooked on industry because she's really into interiors, which is kind of why I've kind of gotten into interiors. Um, but this is a beautiful, shop in Dublin. Shop Come Cafe. Originally it was just a shop and now they've added this cafe um, and it is just filled with the most gorgeous stuff. If you like industrial chic and kind of like Scandinavian design, oh my god you're gonna die over this place. All the stuff in it I want and need and must have. Have to be dramatic but i do i need it all on top of that the cafe is actually fab i've had really nice like falafel on there and salads and hummus and coffee and yeah it's just a really nice place to like sit and just be and enjoy the space and the surroundings and the staff in there are really nice as well they have beautiful candles and light bulbs and lighting fixtures and all these gorgeous scandinavian books on how to make you know cake and get all hike and if you don't know what hike is that will be me from October until March so I'm just going to be fully embracing the hike lifestyle but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous shop and um, that if you're in any way into like that kind of interior design you will be obsessed I can guarantee you guarantee you. Another shop that's kind of related to that and it's related because I think they're owned by the same people is Barn. Now Barn is technically a baby and kids store um, but again it is incredibly aesthetically pleasing so I like going in there. I have friends who have recently had babies, I have relatives who have young children or have had babies and it's just the best place to get gifts for somebody. What I really like about it is a lot of the toys that they have are actually wooden. So obviously it's a lot more sustainable than having all these plastic toys, which I've never really been comfortable with giving plastic toys to a child um, because they don't last the same way that wooden toys do. So even my cousin's daughter, who I call like my fake niece at the moment because she is, she's my fake niece, she's my little niece. We got her little animal farm. So we got it, was it in barn? I can't remember. But anyway, it's made out of wood and has all the wooden animals and the little wooden farmer. And yeah, it's just, I just think it's a more sustainable gift. Um, and you know, we should all be trying to reduce our plastic and that should come into kids toys as well. So if you're looking for really, really cute wooden toys, they have them in there. But they also have gorgeous clothes. Um, oh my god, their clothes are amazing. And as well, I saw the last time I was in there for any new parents out there or parents who still have children in nappies or I believe they're diapers in the US. Uh, they have recyclable, disposable diapers, nappies and baby wipes, which I thought was amazing. It was really great to see that they had like that more environmentally friendly option there. It's a beautiful shop. You'll enjoy it. They're really, really close together in Dublin city centre, so definitely definitely check them out. And the last store that I am loving is, and I've said the name of this before in my interiors video, and I butchered it then, and I'm gonna butcher it now. It's Sostrangrena, Sostrang, Sostrangrena, Green, Green. we're gonna call it Sostrangreen. I am obsessed with this store. The first 
one that they opened in Dublin was actually in Dunleary, which is kind of an odd choice. And the reason being, Dunleary is absolutely beautiful, by the way, and definitely a place that you should check out if you ever visit Dublin. But it isn't as busy as it was a couple of years ago, or certainly not when I was a teenager. The town makes a lot more sense, like the city centre makes a lot more sense for it to be located in. But because I used to live near Dunleary, I would go there quite a lot and get a load of stuff there because their stuff is gorgeous gorgeous i love it it's like it's just a, again another scandinavian brand and um, i just really love their style and their aesthetic and just really nice stuff in there everything from i actually got my friend who has recently had twins i actually got them their little gifts in there because i saw they have really cute like uh, keepsake boxes and little things like that so i got those in there and um, they have amazing homeware things everything from you know cutlery to party balloons to chairs everything it's it's a really weird mishmash but i am thrilled that they have opened a store that's now close to where i now live and um, it's on uh, George's Street and it is fab. I've been in a couple of times. I've already bought a few bits and bobs to the house and I love it. So definitely if you're around, it's on an Irish store, but it's a great store that is based in Ireland or has two store locations in Ireland. So definitely check it out. Again, if you're into that Scandinavian vibe, you will love. And even if you're not, there are things in there that you will find that you will just be like, I must have this right now. No. So those are kind of my shops that I recommend you go to at the moment. But now for places that I recommend you go, I'm going to start off with number one. One of my favorite places, it's very special in my heart, is Stevens Green. And just to give you a little bit of context. So when I was younger, I was part of a ballet school. I did ballet from the age of well, with this ballet school, I did ballet from the age of 5 to 22, but I did ballet for a year or two before that. There was a program in Ireland set up in the National Concert Hall called Music in the Classroom. And basically, the whole aim of it was to introduce primary school children, which are children generally between the ages of 5 and 13, um, to classical music. It was a wonderful program that my ballet school was very lucky to be a part of. So basically, what we would do is we would kind of entertain the kids as well while they were listening to this classical music we would dance to the music or we would act out little bits or whatever it was i'm getting to the part where this is relevant to stephen's green the national concert hall is where we would generally do these performances in the national concert hall which is another venue you should absolutely check out if you live in dublin or if you're going to be in dublin they always have incredible concerts and shows and different things on and it's a stunning venue but back to my story. The National Concert Hall is based really, really close to Stevens Green. And what we used to do is we used to come in in the mornings because these were um, daytime performances for children, obviously because it was during school hours. So we would come in in the morning, we would do our dress rehearsal, and then we would all walk together across St. Stevens Green to go to the Calmore to get breakfast. This was done in like our ballet uniform, which was, um, white tracksuit bottoms and generally like white runners and then a navy jumper that had like a um a ballerina on the front of it in the name of the ballet school and our hair would all be like slicked back with gel freezing freezing cold gel like our hairs would be slicked back this is why i don't to this day wear my hair up because it'd be like whoop, back in a bun and we walk across Stephen's Green while everyone else is going to work. <laughs> and it'd be like this band of ballerinas walking across Stephen's Green. So those are like my first memories of it. But I also, when I was in college, I actually went to college really near Stephen's Green actually. And in my final year of college, especially like in the middle of doing my thesis and like studying for final exams and doing all these other things, uh, me and my friend would actually take breaks occasionally throughout the day. We walk down to Stephen's Green and we walk around it like once or twice. I think you can walk around once in 15 minutes so twice would be like 30 minutes and then we go back to the library and continue to study and I just remember like it was great for having a rant or like you know just trying to get all the stress out. Actually the last day I was there it was really interesting there was like an orchestra playing on one of the uh, bandstands and there's people like dancing around and people just sitting in the grass listening to it and it's just it's just such a lovely place I really love it and it is very serene given the fact that it's in literally the middle of the city centre like you walk out of it and there's top shop which i'm not complaining about it's just it's weird the next place that i 
love and i actually need to go to more it's kind of a touristy place but it's also a great place to go to if you live in dublin uh, it's the national gallery of ireland it is stunning it is a really amazing mix of old and new since they put on that extension and apparently there's a really great documentary my mom was telling me a really great documentary about how they did that whole extension everything from you know the placement of the new art to the floors to the paint that they decided to use and um, so i'm definitely going to have to look into that and watch it but it's absolutely beautiful and one of my favorite pe pieces in the national gallery of ireland is actually a piece done um if any of you watch the sky art show portrait artist of the year uh, you would know that um graham norton was actually painted i think a year or two ago uh, by an amazing irish artist and it's hanging in the national gallery and i think it is stunning i absolutely love that piece of work i just think he captured the essence of graham norton so well and i just i love graham norton i think he's so funny and he's so charismatic and he's so quick and um yeah i just love that piece of art in there but definitely walk around there's some stunning irish art in there and it is a beautiful space and home to one of the most gorgeous and dramatic cafes i have ever seen in my life um and the gift shop is also really, really good. I got some really interesting prints in there recently that I love. Um, and there's also great exhibitions going on at the moment. There's an exhibition called, what is it? People of Dublin? Dublin people? I don't know, I have to double check it. I went in with my mom. It's a fab exhibition. It's really, really good. I know it's definitely on for all of August. So if you're in and around the area, check it out. It is, it's brilliant. It's really, really good. One of my absolute favorite things to do is go to the movies alone completely alone nobody else there nobody taking my popcorn nobody asking me who's that nobody asking me what did he say no one distracting me as they're walking in front of me to go to the bathroom i love going to the cinema alone it's the best it's the best and one of my favorite places to go is the Lighthouse Cinema in Smithfield. It is a gorgeous, smaller cinema. They do some amazing different things. I know at the moment they're showcasing some of the uh, films in the Gays Film Festival, which is an LGBTQ film festival here in Dublin. Um, I know they're showcasing some of those films at the moment, but they're actually also having this month in August, um, Pixar Month which is like the dream. They're showing different Pixar movie. I don't know if it's every day, but it's quite regular, um, which is really, really cool. Next Sunday, the 26th, they are having a Toy Story marathon. So Toy Story, the original, I think is at like noon. And then Toy Story 2 is at like three and Toy Story 3 is at six. But that is literally the dream for me. I went recently and I saw Incredibles 2, which is an amazing movie, go and see it. I genuinely laughed out loud and also the fact that every other person watching the incredibles 2 with me was an adult like there wasn't a single a single child in the audience which is really funny um but yeah i just i love that cinema i just think it's such a nice space and um, it's not overcrowded or anything and yeah it's just nice to support it's kind of smaller smaller cinemas yeah i just really enjoy going to see movies there it's a nicer little self date you know Let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the food. My favorite. We're gonna start off with a coffee shop that I actually only recently went to for the first time. It's called Fonte and it is in Temple Bar. So this is a gorgeous coffee shop. It's really, really pretty. It looks like they have a really good menu as well. I didn't, I just went in for a coffee because I was going to a training course and needed to kind of hang around and have a few calls before the training course uh, opened. So this was the perfect location. The staff in there are so incredibly nice. Basically I went in and their card machine wasn't working and I didn't have any cash and I was like, oh, I can run and get some, but like I kind of set out my laptop and stuff and they saw that and they were like, no, just get us back whenever. And I was like, really? <laughs> I'm not really comfortable with this. And they're like, no, seriously, it's fine, it's fine. So I sat down with my iced coffee, which was really good by the way, and um, within 10 or 15 minutes, the car machine was back up and working and I paid, but they were just like so chilled out about the whole thing. They were playing really good music. Uh, it's a really nice um, space, how they've done it up. It's like really clean and just a nice atmosphere. And it's a little haven in the middle of Temple Bar, which I will be the first to admit is 
one of my least favorite places in Dublin because it is just too touristy in my opinion it's like it's like the Times Square of Dublin you know it's just not really a place that locals go except for this place and one other which I'm going to tell you about now which is Bunsen burger. Literally the only thing that really gets me to Temple Bar is Bunsen burger and the reason I go to the one in Temple Bar rather than the other ones is because when I meet up with two of my best friends it is the most convenient location for us given that we all work in different areas so that's why I go to that one the most of the time. For those of you not in the know Bunsen burgers are the nicest burgers in Dublin. Come fight me on this one. I'll take you down because they are. They're the nicest ones. Um, so it's very simple. Like, I mean, you literally go in. The menu is a business card. That's it. Do you want a double burger or a single burger? Do you want skinny fries or sweet potato fries? That's it. That's all that's on the menu. It takes away that whole, oh God, what will I eat? It's pretty simple. The burgers are so good so good. There are other locations around Dublin so don't feel that you have to go to the one Temple Bar because you 100% don't. But if you're looking for like a good burger, like a good feed, I'm like craving one now. That's the only problem by talking about food because now I'm like, I just want a Bunsen now. It is the best burger in Dublin. You can fight me on this one. I look forward to hearing your uh, opinions in the comments below. But yeah, for me, it like literally can't be beat. So the next one is another new one to me, but a much loved one by many people, judging by the direct messages that I was getting when I put it up on my Insta story. It's called Kimchi and it's located on Parnell Street and it is the best Korean food I have tried in a very, very long time. One thing I will say is don't bother your ass with the tapas. It's not the best, it's fine. But the mains, oh my days, it was so, so good. So good. I What did I have? Let me see the menu here. I had the dakgalbi, which is like a chicken. Oh, there goes the sun. It's like a chicken in like a spicy Korean sauce like rice and then it comes with a couple of different vegetables it was incredible it was so good and they have really good beers there as well and I literally put it up on my insta stories and within minutes I had several messages being like oh my god is that not the best place ever oh my god isn't their food amazing oh my god I'm obsessed with the food there so yeah you can you can trust this one the food is amazing my final final foodie place that I'm loving in Dublin at the moment is again another recent one. Can you tell I've just been like exploring Dublin lately and I'm just excited about it because I feel like that's maybe going through it a little bit. This last place is actually so close to my house which is amazing and dangerous. It's called Shuk and it is in Drumcondra and Shuk is like a Middle Eastern food essentially. It is without a doubt, no, no question, the nicest falafel I have ever had in my life, ever. It was amazing. My friend Ash and I, and her favorite food is like Middle Eastern Lebanese food. We ordered the, you can get like a sharing platter for two, which comes with so much food. There's like a bowl of falafel, pita, hummus. There was some beetroot dish. What was the other thing? Aubergine, spicy carrot salad. Oh my god, it was just so good. And then we ordered like a roasted cauliflower on top of that as well. It was like, it was insane the amount of food we had. Oh my god, it was so good. Like the two of us were like barely talking at first. We were just like looking at each other like, isn't this amazing? Oh my god, it's so good. And it was. It was amazing. It was so tasty, so simple, and just really good like clean food we were so full after but not the full where you feel like oh god what have i done more the full where you're like whoa i'm really full but like really happy and um, so we came back to my place and had like peppermint tea because we're like old ladies one thing i will say for shuk is that you should definitely book in advance like good luck trying to get a place randomly because it's quite small on the inside so it's fine now in the summer where as you can see it's like blindingly bright outside and you can sit out in their little back area but at, as soon as it gets to like colder weather 
the inside is small and it only fits a couple of people at a time. I would say maybe 20 people inside at a time. So definitely book before you go. Um, it is just, it's so worth it. If you don't live near Drumcondra, just trek out here and do it anyway because it's amazing. Oh, I'm getting hungry thinking about all this food now. Okay, so that concludes my video today, which is some of my favorite places in Dublin at the moment. I will have new places, I'd say, by this time next week. So I will try to keep doing these videos if you guys enjoy them and if you find them useful. If you guys like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe down here somewhere. And also let me know in the comments down below if you have any other Dublin recommendations, be it a place to go, things to do, place to eat, different shops, whatever it is, throw them at me because I am loving just exploring Dublin at the moment and just taking it all in. You know, just absorbing it. And yes, yeah, so that's all for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. What's happening? What are all these things on my screen? Go away. It is so bright. I know I shouldn't complain, but like, it's, I'm like. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time my Wi-Fi decides. <laughs> I can upload this video. Why do I always clap when I'm starting a sentence? Um disposable not disposable what's the word i'm looking for compostable recyclable one more store that i'm loving i think there's just one store yes and oh those are my places okay where is it oh yeah and it is lo located on parnell street let's try that one what's up and it is in don't blah, 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 blah. let's try it again that car always pops it's that same car with the trailer. Okay.